This is News 3 Sports. SIU men's basketball in action tonight, taking on Valparaiso, an opportunity to improve to 8-8 eight eight overall and go 2-1 in the Missouri Valley. So let's waste no more time. Salukis, hey, 6-1 at home this season, looking to protect that home court. Now, SIU fell behind 6-0 out of the gate. Lance Jones, look at that, love the move, strong take. He chipped in with eight points. Now, Saluki's got 24 points in the paint. Ronnie Suggs draws the contact, gets it to drop. Hey, Southern got back in the game, not settling for threes. Harlan Friend swat off balance, gets it to go. But the freshman, Marcus Damask, would put SIU out in front. Hey, he had a game high, 23 points, and we'll have a little more on him in just a bit. But Carrington Davis, I love this move. Flexing some muscles, just get out of my way. I want to. Well, sir, you've got it. And did I mention Damask? Yeah, he was the story. Listen to these numbers. He was eight for eight in the first half. Everything was falling. Didn't matter if the shot clock was winding down or if there was a defender in his face. It was that kind of night. He was five for five from three before the break, including a big three-pointer at the halftime buzzer. And let's watch this. Love the fake. Let it fly. Watch it drop. It was their night. SIU holds, holds off Valpo 63-50. Now, Kendra Sheehan, she was out at the Band Terrace Center tonight, caught up with Coach Mullins. So, Kendra, what do you have for us? Hey, Jason, it was a big crowd here tonight, and they were fired up. Marcus Damas brought them to their feet several times. The kid was electric in the first half. He made 21 of the team's 32 total points. And hey, two things that SIU was really trying to work on this game were free throws and rebounds. They got out-rebounded by Valparaiso, but from the free throw line, they shot 73%. Now, SIU moves 2-1 and one in conference play and have a 500 record. I told the guys we can't let up right now. We can't be satisfied. We can't be complacent. we got to play with this type of energy on the road. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, where we play. Defense travels, and that's got to be us. we got to, you know, have those, you know, grinded out wins on the road because you never know how you're going to shoot on the road. So, you know, I think our guys are looking forward to the challenge and, and trying to get a road win in the Valley. Up next will be the Saluki's biggest test of the season. Can they win on the road? The next two Valley games are on the road at Bradley and then Loyola. So for now, reporting in Carbondale, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports. All right, great job as always, Kendra. SIU gets the 63-50 win, and listen closely because I think you're going to love what I have to say next. They improved to 2-1 in the Missouri Valley, but the Salukis are now in a five-team tie for first place, and that does sound pretty good. Eric McGill also had a nice game with 14 points.